we're going to talk about the anatomy of a strap. This thing right here, that's the claw. This, that's the strap. Now, as you can see, are you with me? That's, that's how heavy that is. That's, that, that's, that's the claw. So any flat better knows when we yank the straps, when the claw's on the other side, like this strap right here, right? The claw's on the other side. When we yank the strap, that claw comes flying over the load. And usually you duck out, move out the way. Because you don't want to get hit. You don't want to get hit with that. That's, that's, that's not a game. So again, this, this shit is like, when we yank these straps, we move out the way because we don't want to get hit with that claw. Or, when we're throwing the claw over, when we throw the claw over, we always make sure we're good. We look under, we make sure there's no one on the other side. If there's someone on the other side, we tell them, look out. We, we, we yell, strap. And, uh, so the person knows that we're throwing and they don't get hit with this. So with that said, let me show you this little video. So when you watch this video, note that I already have my hands filled with straps. Um, I'm glad I caught it on video. And it's actually prompted me to try and do it more often. <clears throat> I hope I don't get hurt doing it, but check this out. Check it out. I think you'll like it. I don't know. So there you have it. Didn't even stutter step. 